Hey everybody, so here's a video about the compatibility of the Asus Maximus C790 Hero. It also applies to the Extreme version, so the Hero and the Extreme for the C790. Uh, They're very, very much the same in, in, in regards to compatibility with the with uh, Linux here. So, so like the, the issues that you have on one will also apply, most of them will also apply on the other one. So. Here I'm using the Hero one. Let, let me just show you the, the whole thing here. So again, remember, this is a um, 13900K and the NVIDIA. We got two NVMe um, Western Digital SN8050X with us. So that's uh, six gigabytes, uh, six, seven gigabytes of um speed there and we got a bunch of memory there we got the asus um c790 hero uh, and blah 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 you can see like the, the everything about the computer so uh the question that one of the on one of the comments and thank you for that and thank you for su subscribing and, and helping me out with it with the channel was how compatible is this motherboard um with this cpu or the 13700 or 600, whichever. Uh, it's very compatible, but it took me several reboots to actually show you the error. So let me let me put this like this, and let me let me explain this. So we're getting this one most likely because of a compression uh, or decompression uh, issue right now. I'm I'm guessing. This gets solved in a new kernel, especially the 6.2, which is getting a lot of boosts in regards to, well, a lot of things. Right now, just in case, I'm using the, the 6.1, but if you use a 6.0 or you use a 5.19, which is a default one, it's a, you're going to get the same exact issues, okay? The same ones. Um, this... It's just a driver issue that we're missing here. Okay, no codec there, especially for this motherboard and, and the extreme one too. Don't mind all this because this is uh, um, when it was booting, it actually gave this error, but it actually retried again and the Bluetooth is working beautifully. The speed is, it's wow, it's really fast. I mean, for a Bluetooth. Um, and this, don't mind because it actually, again, it, it retry and it, it yep. Yeah, it's everything is working properly. The only issue that I was having was an NVM um, issue with the hardware. And if you update to the 6.0 kernel, 6.1 kernel, that uh, immediately gets solved. So you're not seeing here. But other than that, this ones don't, they they show, I would say, what, 30% of the time? You, you have like a 30 to a 40% chance of this popping up when you reboot the computer. That's why I had to reboot several times because I re do re recall seeing them on the 519 every time. So um, let me just put the warnings too. Well, the warnings here. So here you can see, you know, all the warnings and all the things, blah blah blah. Um, here's where where the the for the NVM issues, uh, but they they because of the retrying factor. They actually get solved, so I, I got no, I can't complain. I can't complain. Everything is, is working beautifully. Okay, uh, even the Wi-Fi. So there's no. These are like false positives, I would say. I mean, for me, um, there was there was a boot loop issue, but that was, um, and I, I when I say boot loop, I, I don't mean that it started repeating itself, well, like this, um. It was in regards to the snap. Let me show you. So the, this to this to the snap um, devices here, the mounting points. So sometimes snap goes crazy. You know, I'm not, not very keen of snap right now. It's working fine, but um, yeah, I'm more about the default ones. Um, but if you get loop issues, that's that that's just snap. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. It's like a, I don't know, I don't know, something with snap there. Still, doesn't affect you. So in regards to compatibility with the CPU, 
with the with the memory and with the motherboard, it's working fine. Like the whole thing is working fine. Um, and even the sound, because I was able to also do stuff like this. Like, let me show you. So, the easy effects in real time mode, I was able to just show you something here. That'd be a little bit funny, but um, I don't know if he's gonna get the recording. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you're hearing my voice. You should be hearing my voice a little bit weird now. Uh, let me see the pitch. Hell yeah. Um, put it like this. I'll have to watch the video again. I'll have to watch the video again. Um, for me to see the, hear the, the fact there. But they, it's working fine, so there's no sound coded issue. Some hardware with the, with the sound, just in case. Just in case, because I was showing you, um, uh, this here. So we're, we're fine. Okay. The motherboard is fine. Uh, in regards to the performance, especially for the 4090, which is, was one, one of the other questions. Okay. That one is also working fine, especially, especially with this version. Uh, with the previous version, with the 515 and 520, nope, because there was a, some, there were a couple of, I was actually having three of the issues that were fixed in this motherboard, I mean, with this video card at the same time, and with this uh, new version, that got solved. With a newer one that's coming, there's a XID uh, issue, I think it's the 13 um, XID issue. That's gonna get also solved. That that's for Steam, basically targeting Steam games, um, which should give us more stability. Um, but that's about it. Like it's a random thing that could happen, could happen, but the newer driver will will solve that. When is it coming out? I, I have no idea. But I know this one actually solved the performance issue with GNOME. Uh, so like I'm able to do like stuff like this and it doesn't lag. And I have a little bit more FPS, and uh, the stability is uh, awesome. So I'm happy there. So I just wanted to let you know that the hardware, the motherboard, CPU, RAM, everything is working properly. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. You can update. Um, you can stay on the 519 kernel. There's no problem with that. Oh, I, you do need to know this. Let me show you something. These are the, um, don't, don't mind my notes. These were notes that I was actually testing. Like my tests actually last, and that's why it took me a while to, to do this video. They, they last something like three to four days. Okay. So, um, the mitigations is up to you. I remove them because I want the highest performance without the, the, the performance penalty of having the mitigations on. Split lock. Detect and split lock mitigate were put there because of CSGO. I think it was only CSGO that was having that issue. So it wouldn't crash the game. This is a Steam issue. This is a Steam related issue or, or games on, on Steam. It's not going to get fixed, okay? But in the 6.2, they actually give you an option of not killing the app. Or at least that's what I understood. But this is what I got right now. I did test for the NVMe issues, the PCI no MM conf, and sure, it fixed the NVMe issue and it created like 20 other issues because of that. So I basically removed that. And I started playing uh, with, the, with the BIOS there until there were basically no, no performance issues left. Uh, you can enable XMP, but uh, with my memory, with my RAM, I only got it to 5,600. The default speed is 4,800. Uh, I got the um, G Skill Trident um, F5, V5. I forgot the, the name. Let me see what the hell that is. Um, let me see what I got there. So, oh, okay, F5. Okay. So I, I put them on standard while I was testing because, you know, I want to test one thing at a time. But I can get them to 5,600 in a stable fashion. Okay, so with the XMP. I did a video about that. Uh, go watch that specific video so you can get it up to there. 
and it works and you can in the test just in case that i did for that one was rendering a very very heavy video at the same time recording with obs and at the same time playing uh, the witcher 3 csgo all that happening at the same time and then running a a benchmark with um oh um let me see which ones i tested here so i got unigen and i got the unreal engine okay so uh, let me just show you uh let's go to engine binaries uh let's try this one here e editor i think that's i forgot because okay yeah it was this one 5.1 okay so yeah and then i was testing um one of the maps here the one that you're like outside yeah this one um so yeah open that baby oh right right because i was testing it with a 5.0 and this is a 5.1 now anyway uh you can run the unreal engine i have it here because i'm learning uh gaming and, and all of that but i was running this puppy and it was running fine okay i'm guessing it's a compatibility issue between the two versions um but yeah i was running it fine i also played the game with the the shooter there uh the fps and it was fine yeah so it, it wasn't there was no crash or, or something like that by using the ddr of 5600 okay so basically that should cover the the whole video about compatibility and hope that if you get a, a Z790, um, you can experience the same thing that I'm experiencing here. It's actually a very powerful motherboard. Um, it has basically everything works, including the Thunderbolt. I, I was not thinking that it, that would work, but it did. The Bluetooth, oh man, that's that can detect like even your coffee all the way in the other side of the house. So yeah, hope this video helps and think positive.